fishing with Captain Jimmy Nelson, Captain Brett Norris, and Rob Chapman of Outdoors 360 in Tampa, Florida. We moved to another spot that was kind of by a road, and uh, me, Rob, and Louisa were standing on the front of the boat, and we were just kind of casting out there with the three of us on the front of the boat because the captain said just cast as far as you can towards the road, so we did that. It was, it was clear water, but we couldn't see what was happening there, and uh, all of a sudden I felt a tap, tap, tap on my line, and I'm hooked up with the fish, and then next thing I know, Louisa right behind me hooks up another one. And that double that we got when we first got there was actually the smallest two fish of the day. I think we found the spot. <laughs> Rob on doors! As soon as Captain Jimmy casts, he hooks up. And literally, like two seconds later, I hook up too. So that was pretty cool that me and him caught two snook. Actually, the, probably the smallest snook we've ever seen. But we hooked up and it was a lot of fun. Even the smaller fish are fun to catch because they do just like the bigger ones. They jump all over the place, they slash back and forth, and they kind of don't give up all the way in. We were fishing for snook and it did not take long for them to start biting. We did not have to go that far to catch them. I was very surprised with the amount of snook there in the area right now. After we got those snook in the boat and showed them off, we got those guys released and we casted back out for another one. What I was using to catch the snook in that area was a white bait, a 3 aught mustad J-hook, and I was using my Spheros 5000 by Shimano. As soon as we released the snook double, it did not take long at all to catch another snook. I cast it the same area where I caught that last one, and two seconds later, I hooked up. It actually fooled her at first. She thought she had a bigger fish than she did, but it was just because it was a really tough fish and it was pulling some drag. And uh, we got it closer to the boat and landed the fish. There he is. Good job. Nice Got that one. mustad hook right in the corner of his mouth. Yep. Well done. You want to pop that out for me? Yeah. it out. Show him here. Very nice one. They keep getting bigger, so that's really good. Oh yeah. You wanna let them go? Yep, let's let them go. Okay. I was very surprised with the amount of snook there in the area. I absolutely love catching them, and we were catching one after another all day long. It was a great time with everybody, and I can't wait to do it again. About to release this guy, so you can catch him later. There you go. Took off like nothing happened. Real, real, real. 
line back and check out how big this shark is. Take your line still. Not stopping.
fish down there. This is five drops in a row. It won't stop. Everyone, some dead bait, 80 feet of water. If you spinning rods, you can use these for red fishing. And then come out here and land some of these red snapper. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, daddy came to town. Well, we decided to take a quick little trip on out here. First spot, ended up finding a absolute swarm of these red snappers. Caught enough of them, so we're gonna let this guy go. Head to the next spot in hopes of finding a few variety of fish out here. Stay with us. <laughs> 